Fusion could bring is borders. You know, when you paint a pretty picture and you want to frame it, you put it within a great frame. And in Fusion, it would act as though a giant wall doubling as a frame on stuff on top of it or outside of it. I know every day I talk about science and then I write about it too. And then I write about it too. And when going further away, it becomes less and less obvious that the netting is even there. Pretending like it's the dark ages. In reverse, if they could make their body bigger, it'd be better than ours. Even if it isn't bigger, it's just better than ours because they're supposedly, um, they've been alive longer and natural selection will favor them. If we make tools so great, there is like a machine and then if you can make paper the same as a machine is and then fold it in an amount that a computer would crunch numbers, then you could basically have one step evolved above that what an alien uh, body would be looking at our body with. But our body is kind of good because our um, gut has like a poison system in it and then our stomach dissolves stuff in acid, so like, we're like a, a civil alien. So whether it be the macro scale or the micro scale, it's just the same as like an immortal cell line, the Lazarus gene, where the cells try not to die, and for some people, they don't. If you have an entire race of dinosaurs, one of them are going to have glands if there is enough glands as lights on this tree. That would mimic something that could spontaneously combust. Well, that's nothing but a kinematic interaction when particles accelerate. Not to be candidly, but I'm starting to get angry how you can't be superficial and dragons and all are not real. But if someone has a gland taken out and it's not being accepted, it might, might as well be a liver because your body doesn't accept stuff and then you die. Like you have transplants. So if eugenics has anything to learn, it's how to make those transports better. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. However, when you expand them out, the adjuvant in between mainly things that don't really matter unless they're expanded out or compressed. Now I know that dragons aren't real. I know that our glands and our throat, like our lymph nodes, even prostates, are not flamethrowers. Is no different than how a person in the Middle East came up with an algorithm before a computer was even invented. This is a neat component, I bet. If a triangle is in here, like sometimes in my bed, if I lay down and I'm zoned out, I'll feel like I'm standing up against the wall, even though I'm laying down in a bed. And my hands will feel really big, like 10 feet. I don't know what that is, but if anything, it's peripheral, neural. So size is so interesting when it comes to neural, uh, peripheral, because those are things that constitute outside of the brain and the spine. All of those outside of there are peripherals. And so when you have like a different sensation of like vertigo. So just as like a dragon, its glands are bigger than ours. Dragons aren't real, but if you had a dinosaur like the size and they had similar glands, theirs would be able to secrete something that is like a blowtorch. Ours has that ability, probably if you're like bigger, you could house more stuff in it. This is the difference of, of course, what a suppression is uh, when it's not there versus a bonus added on. And the differentiation of the two is very misunderstood in eugenics because the art of necromancy is something that can be camouflaged when it comes to suppression for additions.
can't talk about certain things on the internet. The Higgs particle, the God particle, it's just BS. It's just one of those things in the maps where since you have fusion, you're gonna have like a whole bunch of small niche categories. So like uh, in Boy Scouts, they have like the Soapbox Derby. It's so widely renowned because it's iconic, but it's not like the Soapbox Derby was invented because the Boy Scouts, the Boy Scouts invented the Soapbox Derby because that's what someone had thought up of. It doesn't constitute for like an entire legion of Boy Scouting. <laughs>